welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a pattern review all about the New Look 6446 jumpsuit and I'm really excited to share this with you because I have done this in collaboration with my lovely friend Angela from Devon Thread Tales. We have had so much fun over the last few weeks sewing these garments up. Um, just basically getting together on Zoom on a sewing session every week. It's been marvellous. We have had such a giggle and it's just been really nice to share that sewing with somebody and just have a, a nice chat as we go along. So what I will do is link Angela's channel and her video for her review of this jumpsuit in the description box below for you. Um, so you can check out her version, although she will be featuring in my video a little bit later on so you can see what she has made. So I'll show you the pattern envelope then before we get started. So this is New Look 6446. This is the jumpsuit here. There are options for a short dress, a long dress, and a play suit version, which is basically the same as the jumpsuit, just with shorter trouser legs. And I have to say, I absolutely love this pattern. I've made it once in the past and it fitted me straight out of the packet. Um, and I just thoroughly enjoyed the sew and the same has happened with this one as well. It's just been a lovely sew. Now this is a big four pattern, so you don't get your sort of instruction booklet as you do with your indie patterns, but I have to say that the instructions provided in this particular pattern, I have found that they are straightforward enough to, to sort of follow along. Um, so if you have made garments in the past, I think you would be absolutely fine. So for this version, I have made a straight size 12 and that corresponds to body measurements for a 34 inch bust, a 26 and a half inch waist and a 36 inch hip. Now, I am a 34 inch bust, but my waist and hips are significantly larger than that. Um, however, the finished garment measurements, there is quite a lot of ease. Now it doesn't give you those on the back of the pattern envelope unfortunately but what you will find is that they're actually printed on the pattern pieces inside the envelope. Um, I don't think they do them for the waist but they do give it for the bust and for the hips and I think the for the um, bust I think it's about one and a half inches of ease and for the hips it is six inches of ease so you can see that that is really quite a generous amount of ease that they've given for the hip area. I'm your classic pear shape, so that has sort of played in my favour um, because I am quite hippy. So it's nice that I've got that extra bit of ease to sort of fit me. And I have to say that it, it fits just perfectly over my hips. Um, so the version that I've made this time, I have used a stretch cotton sateen fabric, which I got from Minerva. And I do believe they still have this available. So I, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below for you, just in case you want to pick some up for yourself. It's a really beautiful fabric to work with and it washes really well. And it's just nice to sew with, I have to say. And it just gives that little bit of extra comfort in the garment because it's got that little bit of stretch as well. So the pattern itself has this lovely band across the top and these really nice thick straps, which cover your bra straps, which is brilliant. Um, and then it's got a really nice fitted bodice. Um, and then it just comes sort of down to here where it joins onto the trousers. So you've got a nice waist seam that sits right on your natural waist. There are some darts here. So there aren't any bust darts. You just literally have darts here. So that sort of makes the fit of the bodice really nice and snug. And then there are also darts down the back here as well. You'll also have darts which match up with that at the top of the trousers and that just ensures a really nice fit against your back there. Um, and then at the front, you've got these lovely deep pockets and there are so, uh, just a couple of pleats here, but I don't believe they give sort of um, excess fabric as it were. It just It's just a nice sort of flattering shape around that area. Um, yeah, and I've got a smaller waist in comparison to my hips, as you can see. So that six inches of ease has definitely played in my favor. Um, the only alteration that I did have to make was at the top of the zip, just at the back, I had to use a bigger seam allowance here just to bring it in to have a closer fit because it was just a little bit gapy and it was making the front band sit um, sort of a little bit more forward. So I'll stand a bit further back so you can see the culotte sort of length trousers. So they just come down to sort of mid calf area and I really do quite like that length in the summer. Um, yeah, and I just think with this fabric, it just holds the shape of them as well. 
Really love this fabric. It's nice and bold um, and quite bright. So I just think it's really nice sort of for this time of the year. So like I said, it's got a zip in the back, which is an invisible zip. And I do believe that is a 22 inch zip that you need to install. Um, and that just goes in perfectly. It's a fully lined bodice. So you basically make the front and back twice and then attach it sort of around the top area, flip it in, and then you do have to hand sew the lining in once you've installed the zip. So it gives a really neat finish on the inside as well. So that's my version then. I hope you like it. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So what I'm going to do now is hand you on over to Angela so you can see the beautiful version that she has made. And I will see you back here in a moment. Hi Karen, thanks so much for having me on your channel. Hello everybody, my name's Angela and I am Devon Threadtails on YouTube and on Instagram and I am so delighted to be doing this pattern review and collaboration with Karen. It's been such a lot of fun and I'm so glad that we've done it together. It's so great to see a pattern sewn up um, for two different body types and two different types of fabric and two different types of styles. So it's been really, really great to do that. I absolutely love Karen's version and I just think it's super cute and suits her and she looks gorgeous as she always does. <laughs> so my version has actually been made in a viscose fabric, so very different to what Karen has done. And um, it's I got this fabric from So Haley Jane in a So Haley Jane box that I subscribe to. It is a navy blue fabric with a minty green flower and a sort of lilac-y leaf on it. And it's really soft and it's really super drapey and it's been perfect for this jumpsuit. It has been really easy to put together, I have to say. This is a jumpsuit that I tried to make about 18 months ago, something like that, and it was just a little bit disastrous. I made it out of a quilting cotton that just didn't work for me and I made it in a size too big. So I actually ended up going for a size 12 this time round under Karen's advice and that is for a bust 34, waist 26 and a half and hip 36. Now my measurements are actually quite a bit bigger than that so my bust is 36 but my high bust is 34 so I don't know whether or not the measurements for this actually really are meant for your high bust rather than your full bust because making it up the size bigger the year or two ago it was so wrong and it just was absolutely hideous so to make it in this size smaller has made so much more sense and the fit has been so much better the only issue was that the waist was going to be 26 and a half and my waist is 30 and I was really concerned about that but Karen convinced me to to give it a go and I decided I'd just tack it together and if there was any issue at all I had that you know element of seam allowance that I could let out in order to get it to fit but actually it fit absolutely fine and as you can see around the waist it isn't too tight it's not too loose it has still an element of um, sort of movement around here which I'm really pleased with and because where the bodice waistline and the trouser waistline meets and there's a few pleats in the trousers there's actually a little bit of room for you know for manoeuvre and <laughs> for cake <laughs> the most important thing obviously for cake um, so yeah I made this out of a viscose fabric size down there are a few things i needed to change and i do talk about these over on my video as well but i did change the um bodice and the band across the top of the bodice it was just too wide and where the straps came down and were meant to meet on the outer edge of that bodice um, band it was just too wide across here and it was sort of falling here and it felt like the straps were going to fall down and they just looked really really strange so um with a little bit of sort of chatting to karen and sort of you know experimenting we decided I was going to take it in by another three centimeters so a centimeter and a half each side and I took that in and sort of braided back down to the original seam line on the um, bodice so that it all matched up and you know matched perfectly so that it was just coming in where the straps were going to um, join and that seemed to work really really well the only thing I then did is I actually took it in a little bit at the back I took it in about a centimetre and a half each side of the back section where the zip joins um, but I actually graded that so it came down to the original seam line where the waist is because I didn't think I had any room for any smaller smaller waistline so it was um, so it was reduced by three centimetres at the top of the back bodice down to the original um, seam line 
The only other thing that I did to this was I added um, 11 inches to the length of the legs. The legs are very, very straight. They literally come down in a straight line. So I put my ruler onto the end of the um, legs and I just literally drew an 11 inch line down each side of the front and the back leg and squared it off. And that gave me enough room or enough length um, for my jumpsuit to come right down to the bottom of um, me and <laughs> come down to the floor. <laughs> um, I just didn't feel like the cropped version was going to suit me quite as much and having made it previously and not being all that comfortable in it I, I knew that that was going to be right. So just to say by doing that obviously I needed a little bit more fabric because 11 inches is quite a lot especially with how wide these legs are and they fabric that I use I had two and a half meters of it and that was absolutely plenty I have got a little bit left not enough to be able to make a garment but there was certainly enough there that if I needed to move things around a bit I had I had that I've probably got enough to left to make maybe like some hairbands and scrunchies and things like that so <laughs> so yeah I'm just so delighted with how this jumpsuit has come out it has just been an absolute pleasure to sew with Karen and I really really enjoyed it and I'm hoping that we'll be making some more things together soon <laughs> bye so I think you'll agree that she looks absolutely stunning in the version that she has made and I love the way that she has lengthened the legs to make them full length so that is something that I think I'm going to copy in the future and I just think the fabric fabric that she's used is absolutely beautiful so I think it's lovely that we both used a completely different fabric so you can see sort of how the garment works in different types of fabrics um, in the past I have made one out of a crepe fabric and that works really well and I have also made the play suit version out of a quilting cotton which I would say isn't the best fabric to use but it, it, it did serve its purpose um, and I do wear that in the really hot sort of months on holiday. So yes she's just made a, a beautiful garment I think she'll really enjoy wearing that and it's just so lovely. So I really hope that we have given you inspiration to go ahead and make this garment yourself. Um, if you are concerned about fit and that kind of thing, then I would just basically suggest that you make a very basic toile. Just use an old bed sheet or something, that just so you can check the fit. Um, but I have to say that there are quite a lot of seams within this garment where you can adjust the fit quite easily. So I hope you've enjoyed our collaboration and I would like to say thank you so much again to Angela for doing this with me. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. So watch this space because I think we are going to do another one in the future. So thank you so much for watching today. If you have come over from Angela's channel, hello and welcome. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please do give me a like and also subscribe if you've not already done so, that would be lovely. And I shall see you all again soon. Take care, bye.